ओके स्टूडेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद ओ लेवल्स इन आई जी सी एस सी फिजिक्स पास पेपर फॉर द चैप्टर ऑफ मोड्स ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टेटमेंट अबाउट कॉपर एक्सप्लेन वाई इट इज अ बेटर थर्मल कंडक्टर देन ग्लास ओके वाई इज कॉपर अ बेटर थर्मल कंडक्टर देन ग्लास इफ यू नोट इज कॉपर इज अ मेटल एंड ग्लास इज अ नॉन मेटल और यू कैन से एन इंसुलेटर so what is the major difference between the conduction why does the conduction of metal differ from the conduction of a non metal because metals have free electrons always remember metallic objects or metal objects will have a much greater conduction why due to the presence of free electrons simple as that let's move on to the next one a house is to be thermally insulated to reduce the thermal energy loss and reduce fuel cost okay Which type of thermal insulation pays back the cost of insulation in the shortest time? Okay. Which type of thermal insulation pays back the cost of insulation in the shortest time? So, for the double glazing, the cost of insulation is seven thousand, and in one year you are saving four thousand dollars. So, how many years will it take to receive back the total amount? Seventeen point five years. What have I done? I have divided seven thousand by four hundred. That gives me an answer of seventeen point five. Let's do it for the loft insulation. You have an insulation cost of three hundred divided by three hundred. You will take one year to receive back the invested amount. Let's do it for the cavity wall insulation as well. Seven hundred for the installation. Two hundred you recover every year. This will take you three point five years to recover. For the drought proofing, you have an install installation cost of hundred. Energy cost saving is thirty three point three years to recover the entire thing. So, which one is the fastest recovery or recovers the cost of insulation in the shortest time? Obviously, loft insulation. D is your answer. Let's further move ahead. What is a process of heat transfer that can take place in a vacuum? Only radiation can take place in a vacuum. Let's see this. A copper rod is heated at one end. Which statement describes how heat transfer occurs in the copper? Okay, so for copper, copper is a metal, and for every metal, what type of particles conduct heat transfer? Free electrons. Free electrons move from the hotter end to the colder end. D is your answer. What is the color and what is the texture of a gold absorber of infrared radiation? White can't be the color, so I will cancel out C and D. Black and black. A and B can be my options, but from A and B, if you observe A, you have a shiny texture in A. A shiny texture is a poor absorber, poor absorber of infrared radiation. So I will cancel out A as well. B is your answer. Four metal containers with identical dimensions are filled with water of ninety degrees centigrade. Okay. All the faces except one of each container are covered in a very good insulator. Okay, the one exposed face on each container is painted either black or white. Okay, in which container does the water cools the fastest? Okay, so we have four boxes or four containers, and one face out of these each container is either painted black or white. In A and B, can you see the larger surface is painted black and white, and in C and D, the smaller surface is painted black and white. So first of all, I will cancel out C and D. Why? Because they have the smaller face painted, and if you have a smaller face painted, it will take a larger amount for you to cool down. It will take a larger time or longer time for you to cool down. Because the rate of heat loss from a smaller faces will be less, so we will consider only option A and B. In option A and B, you have large faces in both of them, but option A, you have the face painted black, which is already a good emitter, which is already a good emitter. Hence, the surface A or the option A will cool the fastest. Let's see this. The diagram shows a glass tube filled with water and suspended above a bench. The water is free to circulate around the tube. Okay. At point P, there is a convection current moving downward direction. Okay. So at point P, there is a convection current that is moving downward. 
at which point is the tube heated to cause this convention current okay at which point will the tube be heated to cause this convention current first of all i will cancel out b and c very evident to cancel out b and c because always remember heat sources heat sources are placed at bottom heat sources are placed at bottom and cooling sources are placed at top so i can't place at b and c now let's try out d if i place a heating source at d what will happen convection currents will rise from here that will be opposite to the direction of p so d can't be my answer let's try out option a if i place a heating source here convection currents will rise from here and they will come in the same direction as p is moving so a is my answer let's further move ahead the diagram shows a set of apparatus used to determine the specific heat capacity of water okay what does not affect the rate at which energy is lost to the surrounding insulating the container no placing a lid on the container no polishing the outer surface on the container no moving the thermometer close to the heater will not affect the rate at which energy is lost simple as that let's further move ahead a cold solid is placed on a top solid i think we have done this question earlier as well a cold solid is placed on top of a hot solid like this okay what will happen energy will get transferred from the hot solid into the cold solid a hot solid no energy is passed from one molecule to the next b is your answer let's further move ahead okay let's see this when a piece of rope is held at the opening of the box in the diagram the smoke moves in the direction indicated okay so smoke is moving in the direction indicated what is responsible for the movement of the smoke okay which process is responsible for the movement of the smoke obviously not radiation not vibration of molecules vibration of free electrons no the only remaining option and the correct option is convection convection will cause the smoke to spread out like this let's further move ahead okay let's read this again sample of four different materials at room temperature are heated from below and heat is transferred upwards okay in which material is all of the heat transferred by the vibration of molecules that is conduction in which material will only conduction happen uh in air radiation and convection can happen because this is a gas mercury as well contains free electrons so yeah they will also be used in conduction so this also can't be my option water is a liquid convection currents can also develop here so d can not be my answer as well c can be my answer because first of all it is an insulator that will only involve the vibration of molecules and will only involve conduction since it is a solid the diagram shows four identical cans with their outside surfaces either polished silver or painted dull black each can contain the same volume of water initially at 80 degree centigrade after 5 minutes in a cool room which can which can contains the coolest water okay so which can will have the highest rate of heat loss not c and d obviously because they have lids attached to it from a and b if you can see this a is a dull black cylinder which will enable a greater heat loss hence this will be the coolest a is your answer let's further move ahead a metal box has four different surfaces dull black shiny black dull silver and shiny silver which surface emits the least radiation and which surface emits the most radiation okay so the least radiation will be emitted by what shiny silver objects and the most radiation will be emitted by what dull black surfaces so let's see if we have an option like that d is your option a heater is designed to radiate thermal energy which change to the design decreases the thermal energy emitted by the radiation okay so which change will decrease the thermal energy emitted let's see one by one a darker colored surface no a higher surface temperature no a larger surface area no a shiny surface yes let's further move ahead there is a tight metal lid on a glass jar the lid is loosened by pouring hot water over it 
which physics property explains this expansion of the lid explains this which statement refers uh, which statement about the transfer of thermal energy is correct okay which statement about the transfer of thermal energy is correct transfer by radiation does not require a medium that's correct a is your answer let's further move ahead the tubes inside solar heating panels uses the sun radiation to warm water okay why are the tubes painted black because black absorbs radiation well let's further move ahead which statement is correct infrared radiation cannot travel in vacuum no infrared radiation cannot travel in solids or in gases no infrared radiation can only travel in vacuums no infrared radiation can travel in vacuums and gases this is correct let's move ahead the diagram shows a frozen pond with the surfaces of the ice slowly melting as heat is transferred from the warmer air above it. So heat is getting transferred from the air towards the ice. Which two processes will take place here? Conduction will obviously not take place. Let's read this question. Uh, two identical metal plates are painted. One matte white and the other matte black. These are placed at equal distances from a radiant heater as shown. The heater is turned on for five minutes. Okay. Which metal plate absorbs more energy and which metal plate emits more energy? Obviously, we know black surfaces are good absorbers and good emitters. Black surfaces are good absorbers and good emitters. So both black will emit more amount of energy as well and will also absorb more amount of energy as well a is your answer so this marks the end of the past papers for modes of heat transfer